Welcome, it's Facts You Don't Know. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more. Well, and for make sure to subscribe and active the notification bell so you don't miss anything. The woman endured the bullying of her mother-in-law for a long time, but one day she prepared a special dinner for her. Why could a mother-in-law hate her daughter-in-law or daughter-in-law to hate her mother-in-law? The relationship between a mother-in-law and a daughter-in-law is among the most sensitive of family relationships. The success or failure of the relationship depends on the quality of the communication process between these two parties. The process of communications based on mutual respect is among the most important factors that improve the relationship between the daughter-in-law and her mother-in-law. The process of communications between the mother-in-law and her daughter-in-law is not considered a relatively easy process of communication. Despite its difficulty, but the issue is not at all impossible. The matter requires the actual will of both parties and the desire for a good relationship between them. The issue is basically based on trying to create a kind of love on both sides towards the other. The feeling of love for her mother-in-law is considered one of the most important factors that can make a good relationship without hate and rancor. Also, some people can see that the mother-in-law always tries to remind her daughter-in-law that she is still the main control over her family and the members of this family. Even if one of the individuals has a new family, but that is not a good thing for the relationship because by that, she is trying to understand that she is in control of everything and that that is not good. The relationship should be based on love, cooperation, and compassion, not on bullying. In the city of St. Petersburg, Russia, it's rumored that a young man named Victor loves a beautiful girl named Angela. Victor works as a doctor in a very large hospital, and Angela works in the same hospital. Victor always hints at Angela that he admires and loves her, but is ashamed to say that in front of her eyes. So he sent her a message on the phone telling her, I love you. You are the one that my heart and mind have chosen to be my life partner. I want us to marry. Angela is very happy and agrees to marry Victor, but at the same time, she's very hesitant because that girl lives with her father alone and does not have sisters and her mother is dead since Angela was 16 years old. After a long time, Victor went to Angela and told her, many days have passed and you are not answering me. And I called you a lot. Why do you not want to talk to me? Angela replied, I'm afraid of commitment. My mother is dead and I'm afraid to get everything ready on my own. I'm also miss her a lot during this period, so I am psychologically not qualified to marry now. Victor replied, Take it simple and I am always with you. I just want you to be happy. You will not live alone. When we get married, we will live with my mother in the same apartment. She is very good and will treat you like her daughter. Victor suggested to Angela that they marry quickly in order not to leave her sad about the separation of her mother, and he thinks that his mother will treat Angela in a decent manner. But what happened is contrary to that. Victor married Angela, but it wasn't long before Angela was shocked that her mother-in-law, Annika, was not treating her as her daughter, but as a servant. The bride, Angela, tried more than once to gain the consent of her mother-in-law in order to preserve her marriage, but failure was her ally every time. This girl discovered that she could not deal with her mother-in-law as this woman used to approach her and bully her constantly and continuously, which angered her and never stopped screaming and arguing. Mother-in-law Annika was embarrassing Angela a lot. One time, Annika did a party in the garden of the house and asked all her friends and relatives to attend. That was Friday, and everyone came to that party. Everyone sat at the table to eat, and Annika said, I prepared everything and prepared the food. My daughter-in-law Angela did not help me. She's very lazy and does nothing but surf the internet. She has not had children yet, and we want a child very much. Annika laughed and bullied her son's wife in front of people and embarrassed her a lot. Angela was very embarrassed and excused. Under the pretext that she wanted to go to the bathroom, she went to the bathroom to cry so that no one would see her while she was in there, that sad state. Angela thought that her mother-in-law, Annika, would be like her mother and would compensate her for her deceased mother because the one who encouraged her to marry was her husband, Victor, when he told her that his mother would treat her kindly and would treat her as if she were her daughter. Angela was so disappointed and frustrated that she was sure that she would not be able to be with her mother-in-law, Annika, in the same apartment. Days passed. Neither did the mother-in-law, Annika, change her treatment of her son's wife, Angela, nor did the wife accept her behavior. 
things got worse and sadness, anger, and unhappiness took over the entire house. The husband felt the tension from this relationship began to suffer in turn from sadness and depression till the day came when the wife decided that she could not bear it any longer. Angela decided to take revenge on her mother-in-law, Annika, so she went to a pharmacist, an old friend of her family, explained the situation to him in full and asked him to bring her some toxic drugs gradually so that she would get rid of her mother-in-law, who was troubled by her life. The pharmacist thought a little, then entered the preparation room for a few minutes, then came out with a small bottle equipped with a dropper and said to Angela, it's not wise to use a fast-acting poison, so that doubts arise around you. So I brought you this drug that works slowly and gradually. What you have to do is prepare food from chicken or meat every two days for your mother-in-law, put it in her soup, some drops from this bottle. But during this time, treat her very kindly and be very friendly. Do not show any nervousness or quarrel with her, no matter the circumstances. Treat her as if she is your mother completely, so that he does not suspect someone in you when she dies. Wife Angela is very happy with the solution that she finally found and will save her from all her problems. She rushed to her home and began implementing the plan immediately. Days and months passed, and the wife was keen to prepare food for her mother-in-law. Put some drops from the bottle in the soup and treat her with love and love just as if she were her mother completely. So Angela controlled herself and she obeyed her mother-in-law and did not show her any nervousness or anger. After six months had passed, the atmosphere of the house changed completely and the family's feelings changed. An atmosphere of friendship, intimacy, and love arose between the wife and her mother-in-law, which also changed and treated her son's wife as if she were her tender mother. The husband became happy and stable in his life. After this period had passed, the wife Angela returned to the pharmacist crying and saying to, please help me to prevent the poison from killing my mother-in-law because she has become very nice and I love her now like my mother. Please, I do not want her to die. The pharmacist smiled and understood that his smart plan had succeeded completely. He said to the wife, girl, I've never given poison. The liquid in the bottle is a few drops of water. As for the poison that was about to kill you, it was lurking in your mind. Now you have absolved it. Thank the Lord. Angela was very happy that she did not kill her mother-in-law and she cried so badly. She ran to the house and hugged her and said to her, I love you very much. You are like my mother. I want to keep this situation and keep our relationship always full of love, compassion, and spontaneity. Mother-in-law Annika replied, Do not be mad at me. I was wrong with you in the beginning. I also love you very much. Treat people as you would like them to treat you and treat them well, even if they hurt you because you will always be the best of them. Do not rush to judge anyone and always remember that good treatment is able to change anything and neglect is the most important thing to maintain friendliness and good relations. Looking at how you handle others is a good place to start if you want to know how others treat you. If you don't like how you're being handled, there's only one thing you can do. Change your own actions because no one else can. Relationships act as a mirror, reflecting changes in how we are viewed over time. Here are nine main concepts to consider when it comes to how you treat others. 1. Rather than passing judgment on people based on their past, stand by them and assist them in achieving their goals. Everyone has a story to tell. Some are worthy of admiration while others should be abandoned, but regardless of their experience, people change and evolve. So instead of passing judgment, stand by and help them as they move forward. Respect them and take their path as your own. Two, listen with interest. Talk openly and act with honesty. Relationships flourish when people listen and are curious. Speaking the truth encourages people to be truthful with themselves and with you. And acting with honesty maintains high-quality relationships. Curiosity, candor, and honesty are needed for relationships to thrive. Three, Be kind to others, not because they're nice, but because you are nice. Kindness is one of the most valuable gifts we can send to others. Give a helping hand to someone who's in need. Don't just do it for the people you like and respect. Do it for also people who irritate you and those who you've never met. True kindness is described by the act of giving without expecting anything in return. Four, don't try to make yourself look good by making anyone else seem insignificant. When you believe you have the right to disparage someone because you're stronger than they are, you're demonstrating your lack of power. People have a tendency to make someone feel the same way they do, whether it's good or bad. If you can't assist, support, or love them, do whatever you can to avoid hurting them or making them feel insignificant. 
Treat anyone you come into contact with respect. Five, keep in mind that everyone has a story to tell. It may be something they've dealt with in the past or something they're dealing with now. But keep in mind that behavior doesn't happen in a vacuum. All has internal conflicts and problems. Instead of passing judgment, show the respect you'd like to get. Six, we don't happen to meet people by chance. Every person you meet will play a part in your life, no matter how minor. Some will assist you in your growth, while others will harm you and others will motivate you to do better. At the same time, you are influencing their lives in some way. Recognize that path's cross for a cause and treat others with respect. 7. The best teachers are those who show you the way rather than telling you how to get there. There's no greater pleasure than assisting others in seeing a vision for themselves and seeing them achieve goals they can never have dreamed on their own. That doesn't mean you have to repair or empower them. Rather, lead them to their own source of control as they make their own way and show you what they're capable of. Offer them encouragement and inspiration. All you have to do now is trust them. 8. If you're lifting anyone up, never look down on them. We like to think of life as a mediocrity, so it's easy to belittle someone who isn't as wealthy, accomplished, or trained as you. However, you have no idea how far that individual has progressed or where they will ultimately end up. As time passes, the roles will be reversed, so treat others with respect. 9. Thank those who have helped you, forgive those who have harmed you, and assist those who are in need. Leadership is difficult because business is complicated. Life is complicated, and business is complicated. You can't go wrong if you treat others with respect and compassion, including yourself. Treat everyone the way you want to be handled, and your life will improve immediately. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.